Hello everyone, welcome to the channel and today I will show you how to download and view a Landsat 8 using Google Earth Engine and ArcGIS. So let's get started. So now to download using our Google Earth Engine and view our Landsat 8 image in ArcGIS. So to download our Landsat 8 image, first we have to define a variable called uh, variable called image equals to w dot image collection Landsat collection 8 collection uh, Landsat 8, Collection 1, Tire, Surface Reflectance. And next we're going to filter with a specific uh, timeline. So dot filter date. So we're going to include uh, 2017, January 1, up to uh, 2017, December 31st. And next we're going to filter with a specific uh, study area. So for that, we can, I will show you that. So we, ha we have defined a study area. So that is this particular boundary. It is our study area that is defined as an ROI. So now let me show you that. So it is defined as an ROI. So ROI here represent is a polygon with four vertices. So you can define your own ROI just by going to this option called uh, draw a rectangle. So now let me click this and let me show you uh, how to draw a rectangle. So now uh, just by clicking this option called draw a rectangle and just you can draw a rectangle or this polygon over this study region. So likewise, you can fix a boundary over any part of your world and you can uh, load the Landsat 8 image using this specific ROI that is our study region. But make sure that you use only one ROI, so only one study region. So now let me delete one of this. So I will select this and I will delete. So we're going to use this particular study region. So next we're going to filter with a fleece cloud contaminated uh, image. So for that we define dot sort function referring to the metadata properties cloud cover. So here it refers to our metadata property of the cloud cover. So next we are using a first function to get an image with the least cloud contaminated image. For that we are using this first function dot first function. So next we have to define a visualization parameter for our Landsat 8 to view the Landsat 8 image in Google Earth Engine. So for that we define a variable called visparams true that is visualization parameter true color composite equals to bands. So in Landsat uh, 8 image we are specifically using band 4, band 3 and band 2 for the true color composite with a minimum value of 0 and to a maximum value of 3000 and we set at the gamma value to around 1.4. So next to add this layer into our earth engine we defined map.add layer so image here refers to our Landsat 8 image referring to this specific variable called to load our Landsat 8 image and this params true refers to our visualization parameter for true color composite referring to this specific variable and output the layer name as Landsat 7 the 2017. So next we are using a, adding another layer so in that we are clipping we are just clipping with our study region ROI and we defined our visualization parameter true color composite and output the layer name as Lanza 2017 SA. So now uh, to center our object and for the specific zoom level we are using map.center object ROI and with the zoom level of 10. And last to export our uh, Lanza 8 image to our Google Drive we defined we defined uh, export.image.2 drive. So uh, in that we define image image.in16 function and description we are using as a Landsat 2017. So spatial resolution of this three bands, band 4, band 3 and band 2 with its 30 meter resolution. So we defined as a 30. And next the region is, is our ROI that is our study region. So this is our study region. So this particular this this is our study region as a ROI. So we are setting our max pixel value to 1 is to 10 power 30. So now let us export our Landsat 8 image to our Google Drive. So for that, let us run this code and click this option called Run Script. So now let us uh, visualize it. So now we can enable to visualize we have two different layers that is Landsat, uh, Landsat 2017 SA and uh, Landsat 2017. So now let me show you that. So this is our study region that is so that is Indianapolis. So I can visualize the two different layers here. So let me turn off this layer. So this is our large scale. Uh, that is the entire satellite image. So you can visualize it now. And uh, we are clipped using or specifically this for the study region. Let me show you that. 
So you can visualize the image here. It gets loaded. It's getting loaded. So it is our image using our star ROI, that is our study region. We have clipped only this part of the study region. So you can visualize that. This is our entire Landsat 8 image. So now uh, we're gonna export this part of this Landsat 8 image to our Google Drive. So for that, we had to go to this option called to the task section. And in that, we're gonna select this unsubmitted task as a Landsat 2017. You had to click this option called run to export our Landsat 8 image to our Google Drive. So now let me click this. So no new window has been popped up saying initiate an image export. So we have a resolution 30 meters. So this is our drive. We're going to export to our drive. So you can also export your Google Drive that is Earth Engine Asset. So you can export your uh, uh, shape files and raster file images to your Earth Engine Asset. So in this case, we're going to export to our Google Drive. So to run to uh, export our Lancet 8 to our Google Drive, click this option run. So now you can, uh, we have to wait for some time, so around one minute. So previously you can able to visualize here. I have, ex uh, I have exported the similar uh, study region. It took around one minute to export. So now you can able to visualize in a submitted task, the Lancet 2017 has been exported to a Google Drive. So now let me open my drive. So now you can able to visualize in our drive section, we have our Lancet 2017. So to download this uh, image, just right click on this image and click this option called download. So now you can able to visualize our uh, now select a folder to download this particular Lancet 8 uh, 2017 image. Now click save. So here you can able to visualize our Lancet 2017 has been downloaded. So now let me open in ArcGIS. So now we are in ArcGIS uh, software. So uh, let me add our Lancet 2017 to into our ArcGIS. I will add our Lancet 8 data into our ArcGIS. So click this option called add data. So click add data. So in that we're going to select our folder where we have downloaded our Lancet 8 of 2017. So now you can able to visualize this is my folder location. This is our Landsat image uh, 2017. So now click add to uh, add our uh, Landsat 8 image into ArcGIS. So now you can be able to visualize this is our downloaded Landsat 8 image. We are currently visualizing in our ArcGIS software. So now to uh, let's make some changes to our Landsat 8 image. So right click, go to the properties. So in that we're going to select the stretch type as a standard deviation. So I have selected. So statistics do not exist. Do you want to compute the statistics? Click S. Yes. So now click OK to uh, so now you can able to visualize our Lancet 8 image in our ArcGIS environment. And you can select the different bands according to your choice. So there is around that. Uh, so you can select a variety of bands here. So let me click a band here. Band 2. Let me select band 5. So you can visualize we have changed a band. It's uh, come back to the similar uh, a black like um, image now so each time you change the bands you have to go to your property section and make sure that you compute your statistics so you have to click your standard deviation and click ok so now you can able to visualize our image so each time you change your band make sure that you go to the property section and uh, select the standard deviation so we can visualize it so let me change to band 5 so each time you change to a different band make sure that you compute your statistics so go to the property section and uh, make sure that you click S and now click OK and let me change the band here band 5 band 6 so now you can able to visualize it now so each time you change the band make sure that you compute the statistics go to the properties just by right clicking on layer go to the property section and in that you're gonna select our standard deviation and click OK so in this video, I have shown you how to uh, download a Landsat 8 image from Google Earth Engine and visualize our Landsat 8 image using our ArcGIS software. So thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel and give us a like.